going on, everyone? It's Liam Caddison here with episode 18 of season 6 of Arrow. It's funny, I thought we were on episode 19. I was thinking, is that right? Are we on episode 18? I thought it was last week, but uh, no, it's episode 18 this week with Fundamentals. So um, then again, I should have realised that after the um, epic confrontation we had between Diggle and you know, Oliver last week with that little fight, um, that was absolutely insane. I'm, I still can't get over, you know, the sick, um, burns that Oliver and Diggle gave each other. Like, they were some brutal, brutal, um, shots to each other in a heated conversation, especially surrounding, um, the mantle of the green arrow. But, um, yes, it's going to be very, very interesting to see where things go from here because Oliver's basically on his own and, <laughs> Um, it's, yeah, how is he, how is he going to handle things on his own? I think, you know, the three teams will come together and realise that together, only together they can, you know, bring down Dragon or something like that. Uh, they've, they've divided at the minute, but when the final battle comes down to it, it's gonna ha it's gonna result to them, uh, you know, having to unite, um, and realising this is, you know, the best cause of action, but who knows? Um, all we know at the minute is Oliver's just alone, so, yeah. A lot of, a, a lot of, uh, people will be very, very, very interested to see where this is going, because it's, like, he, it's like back to his season one days, where he was just fighting by himself, no team to help him out, so I think this might be very, very good stuff, uh, but we'll just have to wait and see. But yes, this is Fundamentals, episode number 18 of Arrow season 6. Let's go. Surrounded by a hundred cops, you'll never get them. Oh shit! He's here. Oh, this. Lockdown mode now. Protect I can get behind this all of that. Dark Oliver's back. Oh, this is season one. I don't know. Uh oh, -uh, yeah. Covered by millions of. This is gonna be fun. I'll be fun an arrow for your head. And they don't have the team intro anymore, it's just like the arrow- See, it's like season one! I love it! Yeah, I parent trapped you, but it was a little naive of you to think that I wouldn't, considering how well you know me, you know? You now gotta remind us, Tissue together, just wants the bros to be together. Come on. What happened. I'm pretty sure OTA. Said everything he needs to say. I think you're absolutely right, I do. Guys! This isn't about what he said, or what <laughs> he said, two, or your two, ego. Two, the two. problems at hand here, we need to stop Diaz. <laughs> And we have some pretty good intel. Good intel tends to fall apart in the hands of bad leadership, don't you think? <sighs> Come on, it doesn't have to be that way. How do you know? Doing your job. Hey, Ooh. I'm on your side here. Are you on my side? Yes, of course Are I'm you on sure your you're side. On my How could you even say something like that? What is that, wrong with that, you? That, Dad, you see me. I'm right in the middle of something, please. We're gonna be late. Well, then we're gonna be late. Oh. Oh, he no. Oh. Ow. You just. I'm really sorry. I think we should take some space, Oliver. Oh, for less than he's just like, wait, what? <laughs> Everyone's just leaving Oliver. What the fuck? So what? How you lost it on William? That is crossing. Scary. A line. For her. It's the master, isn't it? John Sim. He's making that noise. Climatic, but what the f? A 
Adrian Chase, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm just done. You know, what I just the? Have to start considering the possibility that I'm just not killable, Oliver. <laughs> what? Wait, what? No, Adrian, you're dead. Ah, uh, yeah, he's phantoms. Absorbed it through my. Oh, he drew. Oh, you piece of. You shoddy piece of shit. Friend of yours. And that's and why he lashed out. What a shady son of a bitch. Don't, don't go talk to Quentin. You are not in a state of mind to be talking to him right now. <laughs> oh my god, this is Joker. This is Joker. It would be a shame. Since by my count, he's the only person still left in your corner. Now, this this is literally that. Joker. I just need to talk to them. Maybe. A bit of an infection in Oliver. Hallucinate his worst enemy. John made You know, that would be cool, though, if the, like, Arrow Allaire was in his home, like... Ollie. Our love, like our love. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is Ollie? this is shaping up to be an episode and a half. Please, I'm scared. I don't want to die. Mm -hmm. No, I'm I'm not resisting that. No. Point. <sighs> my question is, why did you let her become the Black Canary in the first place? Oh, shit. She's a lawyer. And I knew that you would do it with or without me. This way I could protect you. How did that work out for you, Ollie? Huh? Yeah, Ollie. Is this is this how'd that work oh out for God. you? Oh God. For me, not to change good. anything. Shh. Little lady wouldn't go down without a fight. This is all hallucination, kid. On here. This is all hallucination. Oh, eyes, I'm going crazy. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Slap yourself. Well, to be fair, Adrian Chase did attack him. I always wondered why nobody just does that. Kill you straight. You lost your city! And now you know what you have to do to get it. Back. I made a freaking trip with this episode. This episode just <laughs> just just keeps now. hitting me in Where the face there? with well, surprises. I mean, I'm just loving this. Oh Paul shit! Boy, a close personal relationship with him. Maybe he's his brother. That go down? Are you expecting? <laughs> Are you aware that we can impeach you not just for obstruction of justice, but for perjury and vigilantism as well? I am so oh, sorry, but God. something very urgent has just come in. I need, I need to speak to the mayor, please. So, uh, please. Ten minutes. Quit the green arrow. Thank you. <laughs> Walking in there is a suicide mission. That's the risk a hero takes, isn't it, Oliver? Diaz is there every night. Ten to ten p.m. Point. Oh, and he's gonna. Is, He's gonna be the influence. Will you be there to meet him. I'm loving this. This is perfect. So he's the one that, you know, kicks Oliver uh, to you for attacking me to put my those back cops. Together. No problem. Second place too. Pretty good. Even if that cheater Sarah and Epstein got the gold for her. Yeah, damn it, Sarah. That I swear. I've seen. I you're outnumbered. I can handle it. This enemy. I swear. Oh shit. I can handle it. I did wonder why his suit looked a bit different, and uh, here we are. He's right on the other side of that door. So are a bunch of angry cops just waiting for you. You go through that door. What What's your battery? William has you. Well, what happened to me? Ouch! You left. No, I didn't. That was not me, Oliver. The real me is standing right here, and I'm not Jesus, going anywhere. She's trying to rope you out I'm of this. I'm blue, baby. Please. Ah. There we go. Screw it. Aww. Go after him. He, he will be. Uh oh. What was gonna say. Oh, just like old times. Nothing's coming back for me. 
Okay, well, let's thank you. More escape Yes. Where's it yet? That could have gone wrong. Well. Need to bring the mission back to basics. I need to bring it back to where it started. You mean alone? Oh. Shit. Sorry guys, I hate to interrupt, but uh, we got to turn the TV on. News. Oh god, this is never good. I was gonna say, to be fair, fall from grace, the Star it City is interesting. Council has voted to impeach Mayor Oliver Queen and remove oh, the for fuck's we sake. Councilman Cullen's public statement. Mr. Queen's affect in today's inquiry. This guy can get punched. Rap about political capital. You should. Because you're the mayor now. Mail arts. That's a nice thing to do, isn't it? Thank you so much, Rita, for coming on such short notice. Mail arts. I don't want Mayor you, Queen to. Are you okay, Oliver? I'll be just fine, thank you. Uh, Mail arts. Yay. I don't understand why you don't just put a bullet in him or twenty. Because it'd be a waste of time. He's more dangerous as a martyr. That's what he said in the hallucination. Ooh. I'm gonna dismantle him. Piece by piece. Like with the impeachment? I was gonna, I was gonna say, just do it quick. Just the like, latest stuff. Yes, you want to build it about reputation, one. but... We spread the word. There were Mayor Queen out. Star City. It's open for business. I can see what he's doing. But I just would have just killed him anyway. It's just because, you know quick, less messy, all that shit, but if you want to go out your way to, you know, screw someone over to the point where they are at no return, then good for you. Just, I would just do it quick. That's bloody for me. That was awesome. That was some season five levels of quality, in my opinion. Um... I don't know, though. I mean, towards the end, it started getting a bit off, in my opinion. Um, I'm not sure. It's just that all of us, like, want to go at this alone. I think it's just... I mean, I think it's just a temporary gig, I guess, to take down Diaz. I don't know, because... Uh, I'm, I'm just going with the wording here. I mean, it's... Uh, Felicity was like, oh, you're just firing Overwatch? It's like, no. So, I think it's a temporary gig, um... And that's okay, I mean, you can just shake up the strategy if you want to. I mean, not everything has to be a constant. If there's a, a new strategy you want to try out, then go for it. So, I believe that's what Oliver's doing. It's just that sometimes, you know, I think it's been alluded that his, you know, his team has always, you know, kept him level-headed. Um, and he's throwing that away. But I think it's a temporary... I mean, it, it obviously is a temporary gig, because we're going to obviously have to see... Diggle and all them return at some, in some capacity, but, uh, I'm, uh, in terms of Oliver's perspective in this episode I'm talking about, um, it might be a temporary gig until we fight, un until, you know, Diaz is brought down, because I think he's just trying to find a different solution, a different way to work things out, so, um, yeah, it, it's not the same, and it doesn't work out, it's not the same procedure where the team's involved, where he's, uh, thinking about this al uh, alone. Um, and then, you know, once Diaz is settled, then maybe... But it might it might cause some disdain, like uh, like if others were to return. Um, maybe. I don't know. Because I'm, cause obviously the people who have left, Diggle, you know, Team Noobs, they have no interest in returning to, te to, uh, to Oliver. So... Um, but like I said in the beginning, there's going to be an eventuality where, you know, you need each other. And I think that's what's going to happen. Uh, Oliver's just trying something different. So I, I can see that. It's just uh, sometimes this show has, you know, told that Oliver does need his team a lot. Like, he, like sometimes he feels like sometimes his team help him out more than he thinks. So, um... But like I said, I think it's a different strategy, a different approach to Diaz, um, cause you can't just, you know, come into every villain with the same tactic, otherwise it's just gonna get a bit stale. So, they're changing things up, 
Um, you know, all the teams will band together some in some capacity towards the end, and then it'll be the status quo coming into season seven. So, yeah. Although, if it were me, just bring in Sarah because Legends is done. Bring in Rory because where's Ragman? Like seriously, <laughs> um, and it would have been a great time for Laurel to return, but. Uh, uh, two canaries though. Hmm. Um. Who else? Who else could have joined? Oh yeah. Well, you know, half half of the rave wider. Well, they're dealing with you know their own stuff with Constantine at the minute. Um, it seems after the Legend season three ending, but just make it an emergency. Like Ray can come along as well. So yeah. And Wally. Why not Wally? <laughs> um, I don't know. But um. Yeah, he's going about this alone, so... Yeah, but... He'll need, he'll need his team eventually. He will. Uh, but I can see what they're doing. They're trying out a different tactic. It probably won't work, and then that's when he'll need the team. Will Diggle be reluctant to come back? Who knows? Team noobs might be a bit of a hard ask, but we'll just have to wait and see. But I, I, I have more trust in Diggle, of course, because, you know, there's that friendship, even though they're a bit salty at, the, uh, at each other at the minute. Um... There, there are more layers between, you know, each other than there is with Oliver and Team Noobs. So, yeah. So, what can we say about this episode? That it was fun. It was awesome. It was really, really good stuff. Um, it kind of reminded me of Free Ghosts, actually. Um, that season two episode, season two episode nine, um, when Oliver was also hooked on Vertigo and he kept seeing hallucinations. So. And, you know, he, he kind of had that kind of lesson, like, Oliver saw some clarity um, in uh, the Vertigo, like, um, you know, it, it told him this message. It did as well in, in Free Goats when he looked to be defeated, and then that hallucination of Tommy came in, which broke our hearts, um, telling him to get up and fight, like, gave him that boost, so... It was really good. But I think there was, a, like, a deeper meaning in this. Well, I wouldn't say a deeper meaning, but, like, a bit of a deep message for Oliver, like, to try this a different way, as well as sending Oliver some, into some dark places, especially with the way he was attacking the cops, um, the way he was willing to, you know, listen to the Prometheus voice, uh, saying, you know, sometimes a hero does make sacrifices, which he, he's not wrong. He's not wrong. I mean, um... I'll use that example. Barry Crisis on Infinite Earths. He he made a sacrifice. He went into this, you know, with a sacrifice, of course. Um, so he's not wrong, but it's a, it's a it w would have been a bit of a disastrous move. So, but um, I'm trying to think as well because I mean they were ready to shoot him down. I think that was just as a precaution or something like. I don't know. I'm I'm just going back to um, Diaz's plan in trying to defeat the Green Arrow, compared to when he was surrounded with loads of cops. Um, I get. I guess you know. I mean that is for security reasons. I guess um, considering you know Diaz against you know a guy who's really really handy with a bow and arrow. Probably not going to go down well unless he does you know become super 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 uber strong or whatever. Um, but, uh, I mean, we all know, uh, Diaz's plan now, um, I guess with the Green Arrow and how he plans to, you know, kill him. He's not going to kill him fast, he's going to kill him slowly, break him piece by piece, and then when he's at his lowest, when he's made a name for himself, then, uh, infamously, then he can, you know, do with the killing, but he's not going to do that, so oh well. But yes, um, Prometheus returning was absolutely amazing to see, and there's some Arkham Knight shit going in there, like um, there's a little bit of infection in the main hero uh, which causes your worst nightmare to show up, and it's just really, really great stuff to see. It made me miss Prometheus a lot, but it, it was just so pleasing to see Josh return and be this Joker kind of personality. Um... And it's so funny that, you know, this episode came out, like, today, because Jessica Jones has that kind of similar situation, which you can check out the reaction for uh, later today, of course. But, um, very, very convenient. But, um, yeah, it was just really, really awesome stuff to see, you know, him being the sadistic, interesting villain that, you know, he was back in Season 5. Um, 
of course, I was wondering how the hell did he manage to, you know, come into this? And then, of course, when his body just disappeared, it was like, oh, it's a hallucination, wasn't it? Because uh, unless he's immortal, and that would have been really, really scary shit or whatever. But yeah, it was just really good to see him become the side effect of the Vertigo. So um, it was really, really good. Like his, it it was like his devil wasn't he on his shoulder. Um, but it literally was because he told him to go back to basics, um, or, and put on the season one, which I didn't catch at first because I, I don't know why it didn't click into me at first. I, I think, I, um, I was just so invested with how aggressive Oliver was being. And of course, there was a reason for why Oliver looked aggressive, of course, uh, cause I thought, hey, he looks a bit aggressive. Yay. But, um, yeah, I didn't notice it at first, but you know, Prometheus being um, the kind of the bad voice, you know, you know, trying to screw with him, especially with the Laurel um, scenes as well. Um, like before, um, Oliver boarded the um, the gambit, and then uh, Laurel on her deathbed, like a manipulated version where you know Laurel's condescending him, and then Razor. Uh, Dragon. It was just really, really great stuff to see, you know, the manipulation continue to play a factor, even after death, and it's just really, really good, but, um, yeah, I, I just loved Prometheus's return, uh, as well as the whole, you know, um, of a story, uh, of the side of the story where, you know, we had that, which was the cause of the, um, Oliver being infected with the Vertigo with that dickwad. Um, infected him with that handshake, but, um, yeah, it was also really, really good stuff as well, especially Lance, you know, I, I really loved the scenes between Lance and Oliver in this episode as well, because there was that great bit of chemistry between them two, like, they had a great bond, uh, and they always do, but, I mean, with Oliver really having nobody left, he can only turn to Lance, and it's just really great to see Lance being a helping figure, um, but, um, yeah, the whole impeachment stuff, really, really interesting times, especially with the connection, you know, with, um, Hill working with Diaz, but that could put a bit, but that was also, uh, a dampener for the secrecy of the Green Arrow, uh, as well, so, it was a bit of a tough place for him to be at, but yeah, it was a really... Really fantastic episode. Season 5 levels, in my opinion. I think that's... I don't know if that's because... You know, I I think that is really to do with uh, Prometheus returning. Um, but not just that. It was just well... It was just well constructed. Although, there, I, I mean, like I said, there were a few niggling issues. But, um, like I said, I'm okay. I think it's just to do uh, with Oliver choosing a different style. Which, you know, you can dig. It's, uh, you know... It's just that you've had lessons where family have been important, um, but you know, some like I said, sometimes you know, sticking to you know, it's it's not going to you know, the same strategy will not work all the time. Otherwise, it will get a bit cliched. So they're trying something new. So uh, that can justify that. But um, like I said, the way it was constructed, especially with the Prometheus stuff, especially with uh, how reminiscent it was to Free Ghosts, which is one of my favorite Arrow episodes. Um, it, a bit of a twisted version, I guess, uh, like a darker twist to Free Ghosts, because I felt, especially with the Tommy hallucination in Free Ghosts, it was more inspiring, if anything else. I mean, yes, Free Ghosts was a bit hectic with Slade, um, being, I'm, I, funny f thing is that I still believe, I don't know why, I, they, I know I'm sidetracking a bit, but in Free Ghosts, you know when Slade's in the bunker, of course, um, and he's attacking. I think, uh, and of course, Slade was, you know, alive at the, uh, but, you know, Oliver didn't know that. Um, of course, you can still, um, get injuries from hallucinations of, from Vertigo, as, you know, uh, seen in this episode. But I don't know. For some reason, my mind just sidetracked to think Slade was really there and the Vertigo was just altering the appearance of Slade. So, um, yeah, but it's probably not the case. But yeah, um, there was a bit of a dark, it's a bit of a darker twist to Free Ghost, in my opinion, uh, this episode. I mean, there was a, there was a bit more positivity in the hallucinations. 
I don't think there was any of that in the hallucinations that Oliver suffered, especially if, if you know, Prometheus was by his side all along, like the Joker. Um, seeing Laurel on her deathbed again, which is not pleasing any of us, and then Razor, you know, beats Stad and a dragon, echoing the, the words he would later say. Yeah, not really comforting. So, um, yeah, it was just a really, really gr uh, good episode. Reusing some some old stuff that they've done for Arrow, especially the costume, especially uh, the Free Ghost, like I said. Um, and they used the um, Season 4 attire as well for that Laurel scene as well. So, But overall, it was just a mighty episode and I just loved it, especially Josh Garrett returning. Absolutely wonderful. Wonderful stuff. So yes, I will see you guys next time. Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. You can check my videos on the right. If you want to check out more of my content, you can also subscribe to my media feeds channel if you want to. Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. Hope you guys take care and I will see you guys next time. Toodles!